In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to the Catholic TV Mass. My name is Father Harry. I'm a priest of the Archdiocese of San Francisco. And with me in this beautiful chapel in Colma at Holy Cross Cemetery are a student, from Tyler. What's your last name, Tyler? Chan. Tyler Chan and Alana Bay, who's been with us before. Uh, they will read the scriptures and answer the prayers on your behalf. This Mass is being offered for you and your intentions, and we're so grateful to the many of you who have continued to support us these past 30 years. So we begin our service by asking God to be forgiving of our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And now in praise of his name, we say together, Glory to God, God in the highest, and, and on earth peace to people, people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, you we glorify you, you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Share your bread with the hungry, Shelter the oppressed and the homeless, Clothe the naked when you see them, And do not turn your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, And your wound shall be quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, And the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall cry, call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. If you remove from your midst oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday, the, Lord, the word of the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks to, God. be to God. The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. The just man is a light in the darkness to the upright. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. The just, the just man, man is, is a light, light in, in darkness, darkness to, the to the upright. His heart is steadfast. He shall not fear. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His justice shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. The just, the just man, man is, is a light, light in darkness, darkness to the upright. The <laughs> a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. 
When I came to you, my brothers and sisters, proclaiming the mystery of God, I did not come with sublimity of word or of wisdom, for I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and much trembling and my message and my proclamation were not with persuasive words of wisdom, but with the demonstration of spirit and power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with Lord your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, <coughs> You are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. No, it's set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Light makes a big difference if you're stumbling around in the dark, and most of us have had that experience, uh, whether it's getting up out of bed in the middle of the night or uh, coming out of some building where the lights are on and all of a sudden it's pitch dark outside. It makes a big difference. I want to make a difference. I want to feel a difference. Lord, make me a healer, a carer, a doer, a darer. Lord, Make me a difference. Light and salt, as proclaimed in the gospel today, a light is to the eyes what truth is to the mind. So just as you're able to see because there is light, so we even use that expression, oh, I see, which means I understand. And the truth gets to the mind. It's so important, we say, uh, as Shel Silverstein said in the poem, small as a peanut, big as a giant, it makes no difference if you turn out the light. Red, black, yellow, brown, white, who cares if you turn out the light? So maybe what God should do to make everything right is turn out the light. But that isn't what God has done it all. God says if you have a talent, if you have something to offer, to share, you don't put it under a bushel basket. You put it on a lampstand where people can see and find their way. The Christophers, who have uh, an organization formed by a Father Keller many years ago, they're... Uh, 
uh, their motto was, it's better to light one candle than curse the darkness. It's better just to see a little bit. Even the great Einstein, I read one time where he walked around in the darkness so much, he stubbed his toe <laughs> and he cursed the darkness for the rest of his life a man of great thought and mind. The salt is such a distinctive kind of element. There are people who cannot eat food without a certain amount of salt. Uh, salt brings something very special as a preservative. There is a, uh, a street in Rome called Via Salaria, the way of salt. And uh, by that street, you go in and out of the city of Rome. And it was the first trail of uh, people who brought goods in and brought, took goods out that was named the Via Salaria because so much salt was brought into the city of Rome. We are told that some person may not be worth their salt. You and I have the flavoring of our Christianity. We have the gift of the light from God. So with salt and light, we can make a difference. I want to make a difference. I want to feel a difference. Lord, make me a healer, a doer, a carer, a darer. Lord, Make me a difference. Let us pray. Almighty God, look kindly upon us now and be responsive to our petitions. For God's holy people, that we glorify God by living as the church teaches. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for rulers and civil leaders and journalists, that they speak and write the truth in all things. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are homeless, hungry, and unemployed, that they find shelter, food, and jobs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all here present in our TV community, who help the poor, the hungry, and the sick, that we find joy and renewal in our ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And in thanksgiving for all of you who have been supportive of us, particularly by sending us checks and petitions for prayers that we might uh, respond and offer them on your behalf. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in your divinity, who humbled yourself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash us from our sins and cleanse us from all iniquity.
Pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. In love you create, in justice you condemn, but in mercy you redeem and set free. And so we join our voices with the many who've gone before us in praise of your name as we say together, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me, The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, the Bishop of your diocese, and the many others who serve you. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, the Blessed Apostles, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, so that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your men, graciously grant peace in thy day, and, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the, the glory, glory are yours, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. May the reception of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, bring us to judgment, not bring us to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for us a protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. Tyler, the blood of Christ. Amen. Let them thank the Lord for his mercy his wonders for the children of people, for he satisfies the thirsty and the hungry he fills with good things. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to live the gospel. Thanks be to God. Well, we're about through with the first month of 2020. I hope everything is going good for you in your new year. We certainly are grateful for all your Christmas gifts to us, but we find ourselves usually at this time uh, where people whose gifts trail off a little bit, so we have to ask if you can help us. Um, let's see. My, my ch Dear Father Harry, my checkbook was stolen in San Francisco <laughs> by a pickpocket on the bus, say, uh, would, I would close all the checks from July 1st to whatever, 
uh, from that robbery. They did not. They told me today, your loss was your loss. Sorry about that. I won't be able to help you. <laughs> I'm sorry for you, too. I really am. Let's see. It's uh, hard to get these things here. Many thanks for you and your volunteers. For Tila, Tim and Sheila Kennedy, Kathy Atkinson, Alana Bay, Mr. Crowley, Joe, and all who make the Sunday Mass such a success with the TV viewers. They didn't mention you, Tyler. Maybe next time. I wonder if in your time at the Vatican were you ever able to visit St. Pius' tomb or his church in Italy. If you are, you're very fortunate. Please accept my large donation. Boy, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. On Sunday Mass, you say uh, your birthday is da da da. My dad's birthday was the same. Have a nice day. Enjoy your birthday. <laughs> okay. Please include my parents in your prayers. They are both buried in the National Cemetery in San Bruno. Thank you so much for the wonderful TV Mass. It's a great way to begin the week. So here's one, dear Father Harry, I wish that I could afford more, but this comes from my heart. God bless you. I appreciate that so much. Um, if you're having trouble finding uh, us on the television, perhaps you can ask somebody if you have the internet. All you need to do is type in Father Harry dot org dot org father harry dot org on the internet whether it's an ipad or an iphone or uh, uh, the computer you have in your room and you can find the mass there uh, every sunday and you can get it anytime you want so we recommend that and we hope that many of you will uh, utilize it and we also are grateful to those of you who are using paypal to make donations makes it easy for us. Uh, we, are, we are grateful for that service as well. So on behalf of Tyler and Alana and myself and the whole crew here, we wish you a beautiful Sunday. And I don't know who's in the Super Bowl yet, but I should know it's going to be played very soon. God bless you all. Keep